Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Concrete Jungle series. So, uh, actually this might end up being the last episode of the, se uh, the series, um, only because um, I'm not really enjoying the amount of lag I'm getting downtown. Now this was supposed to be about being downtown a fair bit and I just can't, I can't do it, unfortunately. So, um... We are going to run the horde tonight for sure with the base that we've got. I'm going to go to the trader and sell some stuff, see if we can get some food. Now I did make a bit, a few things last night. So we do have a bit of bacon and eggs. Let's probably bring those with us and some red tea. Um, what else are we going to need? I think I got most of the stuff I need in the bike for tonight. I think I've set it up already. Uh, in the bike. Now we had some forged iron being made in here. Might as well drop another little bit in there. Get that being done. Um, I might come back to this series, you know, a little later on or uh, probably what I'm going to end up doing is waiting for Darkness Falls uh, and running a Darkness Falls series. Now it's probably going to be pretty laggy too, but it won't be on a custom gen world like I've got it on here. It'll be on a pre-gen world at that Kane has built, uh, which might be a little better than what we've got. Um, I don't know. Like, see, I've just, this is a restart and a whatever, and I've got a little bit of lag just looking towards downtown. It's very clear here, but whatever. But um, we're going to hang out here for a bit. I'm going to wait for, eh, maybe we shouldn't. we got a bit of time. Let's go do something before we got to get to the trader. There's got to be a building here. We could do Man Dog Snack Pig. Have we not been through here yet? I don't think we have. Um, but rather than going in that way, let's tell you what. Let's put this stuff in here. I got a bunch of stuff in here, here I think, already for the horde. Yeah, so this is our horde gear. Put the stuff that we're going to sell to the trader in there. Um, let's drop... Uh, yeah, that's fine. These are for making... Um, gunpowder which the chem station might be done now let's have a quick look i wanted to get some more gunpowder being made i mean if i'm not going to continue the series it really doesn't make that much difference but at least it'll be you know gotten it started anyway and i don't know where i'm gonna put the chem station probably just in the kitchen for now but yeah it's you know i don't know there's something about alpha 20 i mean i really love it the look is fantastic but um and I know they got a wide variety of settings now to um, work with your competency level, which I think is great too. Uh, wow. Um, let's just put it right there. That's fine. Um, but I don't know. There's something about it that's that I can't put my finger on that I'm not enjoying. And I don't know what it is. I mean, partially the lag downtown, sure. Um, I kind of get that. Um, there's not much I can do about it. Um other than playing on, you know, maps where there's like, I don't have a city generated downtown. Um, we don't have much time to do Mad Dog Snack Pig. What about this place real here, right here? Oh, is this the one with the bad... Yeah, see what I mean? There's the lag spike right there. I just drove here and now it's like chunky chunky. Horde's gonna be interesting. Oh, I think we've already been in this place. This is the one with the, um, where you can dig into the basement. Have we already been in here? Did we do a quick raid on this place? If we didn't, we're going to do it. Yeah, we didn't, so let's just do it real real quick. We don't have much time till the trader open, opens. So this is the, uh, I don't know what, if you guys know this place, but you can just dig in at the back here. And it takes you right to the basement where the main loot is. But you got to kill like three zombies down here. Which isn't too much of an issue. Just make sure you dig yourself a clear way in and out. And they should spawn there they are. Yeah, but I'm not really sure. Like I said, I don't know what it is about this alpha. Um, that I'm not... It's not that not that I'm saying that I don't in, I don't like the alpha or I'm not enjoying Seven Days to Die as much as I used to. I am. I still love the game. It just I don't know. It's just something about this alpha that's like 
I, I don't know. I don't know what's. I don't know. I don't. I can't put my finger on it. Um, I wish I could just say it was um, something specific and then just you know find some way to fix it, but it's not one thing specific. Um, and maybe it's just a matter of me playing around with the the the, the settings. Um, and I don't mean like the game, the game uh, graphic settings. I mean like trying to figure out like do I play with Feral Sense on all the time or do I play with, um, you know, different um, um, zombie settings? Like do I play always on insane where the where the zombies run but don't have Feral Sense on, or do I have you know Feral Sense on and then not, um, you know. Um, not have the zombies run, or it's, it's finding that, that that sweet spot balance. Flaming arrows. We'll just sell that one. It's finding the like like I said that sweet spot balance that um, um, that you're happy to play the game with, right? Do we find any pipes, but I think there's a, uh, a toilet in here. We can get some pipes out of. Uh, not that way. So yeah, I've been battling it for like the past little bit now, um, trying to put my finger on it because I want like if I'm going to stop playing a game, um, like a, a series, for a reason, I, I better have a pretty good reason. I mean, this is a pretty good reason right there, the lag downtown. Um, cause I still like the game. It's just ah, I don't know. I mean, one of the things I can do is is mess around with the with the world gen again and try and get it so that, you know, cities don't spawn like with the downtown core. Because really, it is just the downtown core. When I play offline, um, and I I'm not in a city, I have no problems. It's just whenever there's a downtown core, there's an issue. Um, can I see your inventory? Oh, I left everything in the bike. God damn it! Uh, let's just sell you some stuff here. I do have a few things for you. Um, yeah, I might as well just sell that. And yeah, we'll sell these. Uh, let's go grab the rest of the stuff from the bike. Like, I mean, I'll... I'll we'll look at your stuff in a second. Hang on. Now, I'm not expecting Darkness Falls to be any better. Um, with regards to, like, lag and other things. Um, I'm sure, like, in general, it could make the game a lot worse. Um... But I'm hoping that you know Kane has taken that into account, and is um, the pre-gen worlds um, aren't uh, too too laggy. Um, all right, let's have a quick look. We needed to look at his food, which of course he doesn't have any. Take his gunpowder. Uh, what else do we have here? That stuff we sold him. Shotgun parts, no. Um, a lot of shotgun parts. Another AK. I think we're good with the AK as we have it. Let's actually just we'll repair that in a second. Tech Junkie Volume 3. AP Robotic Turret Ammo. Uh, Magnum Enforcer. Oh, barter, bartering with a 44 gets better deals. How much coin do we have? 2300. Eh. I don't know. We don't really have a shotgun for tonight. I was hoping... Oh, there's a pump shotgun for 9,000, which there's no way I can afford. Uh, well, of course. We've got the single shot, so it looks like we're going to be relying on the AK and the pistol tonight, which I don't mind. Uh, but we're going to have wire fences up, so I mean, it'll help a little bit. Even with the single shot, we'll be able to use it a little bit, but... I mean, we got a lot of pipe bombs and stuff too, so maybe the single shot and some pipe bombs might do it. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else here we want. I don't think there's anything we really need. Wait, do we have a clothing God, issue? You're done browsing. A clothing Next issue that we wanted to deal that. with? No, we're okay, I guess. Um, meow. Meow. What else do you have? We could buy your cobblestone for what, 270 It's always good to buy cheap. I mean, it's less stuff I gotta pick up, right? Yeah, that's about it. Ooh, shotgun choke. Don't we have one of these already? I can't remember if we do, but I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it because I mean, like I said, it's probably gonna be the last uh, 
the last video for this particular series. If it's not, you know, then we just wasted 600. Not a big deal. Uh, yeah, that's probably fine. All, All right, let's take this stuff here. back home. We are done. Oh, yeah, you got no food, right? But what about your vendo? Um, chicken soup, chicken, can of stock. How are we doing for water? Let's just buy you, buy you, we'll buy you. I don't normally buy candy, so I'm going to leave that out. We'll just go ahead and use these three right now. Get ourselves all topped up. Use that. Cool. That'll just save the food for tonight. Now, um, let's get downtown. Right after we smoke you. We're going to go downtown and... Um, see what we can see now on here we have yeah we do have the choke yeah that figures well it just means if we get a second shotgun we'll have a choke for the second shotgun I guess don't have a lot of ammo though eh uh, yeah it's plenty uh, let's put that in there though alright back to the house we'll drop this stuff off that we have in our inventory um, head downtown Finish up the base. As much as I want to stop and kill you, I got shit to do. Um, finish up the base. Make sure it's got a roof on it uh, with a place that we can escape to if we have to. Um, and then we'll leave it at that. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you the rest of the base build. Although, it's really just a, I mean, it's just an upper floor with a walkway and a wire fence across the walkway. So, it's not that big of a deal. I've already got a, a um, plan for what I want to do with... Um, oops. Let's not do that. But who knows? We might get more done today. I'll leave that in there. We, uh, I don't know. I'll see what how what our time is like. Is this is all the gunpowder done? It is. Okay, uh, let me put this stuff away and then we'll get out of here. Alright, let's get downtown. To the Horde base. Now, um... Hey, lady, what's up? Excuse me. Oh, I missed him. I'll blame it on lag and not my bad driving. Alright, here we go. So now we got to work on the upper floor of this. So let's just park the bike that far away. And let's go and grab you guys. You guys, the battery bank. Do we have a wire tool? Oh, please tell me we didn't forget the wire tool. And we forgot the electric fences. Damn it! Okay, so we don't have a wire tool. What's it going to take to make a wire tool? Can we make one? We can. Okay, it's forged steel and mechanical parts. Are you breaking my house? So there's the fences. Now we don't have enough forged steel, which means we're going to have to get some steel. I don't remember if there was any... Did you break my glass window? You broke my glass window. God damn it. I can't remember if there's any steel at the trader. Um, we've got five. So we need four more. And mechanical parts. How many was it? Um, three. Let's make sure we have those on us. Because I think we've got the workbench in the bike. Do we not? Uh, we do. So we're okay. We're going to go see the trader first, see if he's got four pieces of steel. If so, fantastic. And then we can throw a workbench down near our oop, down near our base, um, our hard base, and then uh, just get that going while we're re uh, rebuilding the rest of it. Cat dragged in. And have coin. You do. Beautiful. It's nine. Where we're going to double check to make this. Oh, make sure we make it. Okay, perfect. Ah, lock myself in. Alright, here we are back again. Man. Okay, let's just put the workbench down. Uh, where are you here? Okay. Tell you what. I want to put it down here. Yeah, let's put it down here. At least that way I don't have to worry about, for whatever reason, it getting destroyed tonight. Now watch. A zombie will find his way in here. 
and completely destroy it. How long? 135. All right, cool. Now, we're going to go up here because I want to get um, the top of this place at least made so that they can't get up there. Oh, come on. Just open the inventory. See, this is what I mean. I'm, I'm not having... I'm not enjoying this ridiculous lag. Now, I... I, I I don't know whether, maybe it's my computer, maybe it's my internal drive is dying, I don't know. Um, but I highly doubt it because every time I go and look at the resources being used, um, my video card is completely maxed out. So, um, and if I'm going to record, I'm not going to record on garbage settings. So it's just, I don't know. Uh, so let's make... Um, let's see, 3, 4, 5, 10, I need 20 at least. So another 14. Uh, where are we here? Concrete blocks. Concrete shapes, 14. And I think we've got enough of the other one. So what I want to do, 3, 4, 5, is put the ones that are right above where I am under here. I'm going to make these concrete. Um... And then let's at least make sure that the blocks that are supporting the ones above me are reinforced like that. I mean, it doesn't really make that much difference, I don't think, but I'm going to do that. I've got three of these now. So let's get this in. That and that. And then you can go there. And then what we're going to do is add the cobblestone blocks to the corners here. So this is how you, I would normally build it if I wasn't going to be doing it rough anyway. So now you, you can see that the top platform is, ex, is expanded a little bit. Right? So it's a little wider than the bottom. Um, there's a lot more fighting room up here. There's a lot more room to add stuff like generators or a workbench in here, uh, things like that. Um, now, normally when I would build this, is I would also build this with a way to look down here. Because if you are up here fighting and for whatever reason the zombies aren't coming up the ramp to get to you, you can have a way to kind of look down and just drop shit on them. Uh, we don't currently have that with this because it's not needed. Uh, but that's what I would probably do. Now, part of the reason we want, why we want to have this overhanging the the uh, part below here, and I'm sure you guys already know this, is the zombies do stack up on top of each other. So if they decide to stack up, they could get on the roof if it's not five blocks high. Uh, as long as there's, there's like, right, right here there's an overhang, which means there's no chance of them getting ex exploded up onto the roof. I had that actually um, happen once before where a pipe bomb threw a zombie in the air and he got on the actual roof that way. So we don't want that to happen. Now, uh, let's get a hatch. Um, and I'm probably just going to make these... Um, yeah, you know what? We're probably going to get birds tonight. So I'm thinking then... I don't know if we will or not. I don't know if we will or not. That's a good question. I didn't bring any iron. Because of course I didn't. So let's go ahead then. Do I know if we're getting birds or not? All right. Well, since this is a standalone, um, let's go ahead and do, um, here we go. And then we want to go advanced. What we're going to do is we're just going to put these up above us. I will make them probably cobblestone. So let's get them updated. Okay, so this is just so if any zombie gets up here, uh, or the birds are, are up here, I can at least look up and see them and kill them. Um, they won't be able to get to me. So that's what that's for. Now, um, let's build. So we would be fighting in this direction normally, which means this is where the wire fences would end up being. Because um, what I want to do...
trying to remember how I did this before. The walls would stick out. I want to put a place to put the generator, but I want it on the roof. So let's just go like this. But it's got to be protected, right? We can't, because the birds might attack it by accident for whatever reason. So let's do that. Let's do this. Let's get the batteries in there. And then we need our wire fences for down below. We can go down now and get our electric fence posts. Boom. Or, I mean, we'll go down and get our wire tool. We'll put our fence posts in. So, like I said, normally what I would do is sink these down one. Right? You want them one lower. Uh, but we're not going to do that. What we're going to do, though, is put them, I think, out one. Now, we're not repairing these tonight, just so you know. Um, so we go one there. And one there. So we do the same thing on this side, so right here, and right here. Uh, I better make sure these things reach each other. I'm pretty sure they do them. From what I remember of the, uh, the base, that should reach. Yeah, it does. Okay, good. That's the maximum. Like, there's a maximum that they can reach, and I think that's at max. I put this one out too far. So let's just pick it up again. Uh, I can't because there's no land claim block. Uh, land claim block. Yeah, leaving it to the last minute. Shouldn't really be doing that. Uh, 20 some odd seconds. Okay, let's get the rest of these in then. So they need to be one out from the wall. Well, I guess they don't have to be one. Question, does that reach? I think that reaches. So from here. Yeah, that reaches. So even if it's out the extra one, we're good. So it's that one I want to move then. Alright. Um, so there. And there. No. Land claim block. Boom. Um, sure, just for now. That should reach them all. So let's pick you up. Okay. Here. Right? Now it's just this guy that's not in the right spot. Needs to come out one more. Like that. Okay, now we want to go and wire this corner to there. And this corner to that side. Because I want to have where the corners are connected to be on, there we go, on the same side. So I'm only, if I ever had to go and do stuff, like repairs and stuff, I'm only repairing one corner at a time. If that makes sense. That's not where I want to be. This is where I want to be. I gotta fix this guy. There we go. So you can see how the fences now overlap each other. So when the zombies come in, it doesn't matter where they come from. They're walking into the fence. Now normally, like I said, you would do two of these. They would be sunken down one, so this would be at foot level. And then what you can do is build ramps 
and a cover so the zombies walk up and over them and then when they come down on the other side you can put um, either hatches or those new shutters that you can open on this side to be able to repair them um, but they'll walk up and over them and then be like standing right in the electric fence no matter where they are they're gonna be standing in an electric fence and there would be two lines so this is the outer line and then there would be one more that would run through here like I said in the last episode right through this block that's right up front here so even when they're here they can't really have a chance to hit the blocks just minimizes the amount of damage your base is gonna take all right, now we need to go upstairs and wire these in. So where is my ladder? Ladder. There we go. Now we need to add another one here. Okay, so let's just hope um, we can actually reach from here. Now we will be we will be able to reach this corner. The other corner is the other is the question though. If not, we could be in a lot of trouble. Okay, no problem. This side. To there. So that's got those wires going on this side and this side, and then we do the same over here, which we should have no problem doing. To there, from there, to there. So now all, whoop, and then you should be going to there. There we go. All four sides now set up and ready to go. Okay, cool. So let's just cover this over with, uh, let's go with you. like that and then what we'll do is we'll grab shape this guy just like that and I will I'm gonna update these I mean I don't think it'll matter it just means we need to oh can we actually get between there to activate this we can haha -ha. beautiful Okay, so that, that's that done, and I think the base is ready. We just need some iron to update this hatch. So let's go find some iron somewhere, and then we'll pick up these when we're ready to go. Actually, let's grab the stuff from the bike, get it into the base. Um, actually, we don't want to do that. Let's just wait. But we got a bit of this, so... Actually, got a bit more. So let's just upgrade these corners then. Don't think this matters. This base, I think, for day 14, you can see how gathering the resources is not really that much of a problem. Building it, however, if you had Feral Sense on, um, it might take a little longer than normal just because zombies would be coming out of the woodwork and attacking you. Um, but, you know, in that sense, or in this sense, anyway, there's no real, you know, fear of, like, not being able to build, like, this solid base. That, like, like I said, I normally wouldn't do, if I was doing an offline playthrough, I wouldn't build it like this for day 14, because I would want to dig up the entire ground beneath this and replace it with um, concrete blocks, as well as all this should get replaced with concrete. Uh, because it's going to take damage from pipe bombs and, you know, zombies and other things like cops blowing up and demo zombies and all that stuff. So you'd want to have it as strong as possible so the zombies couldn't get underneath your base. But, all right, that can go in there. You can go in there. You can go in there temporarily. So let's go find some iron. What's made out of iron? We can get iron from the bus probably. Uh, we can probably get it from here too. Now, we've already been through... Am I gone? Funeral home. So let's just rip this car up. Now we need 40 for the hatch. Um, plus 120 to update it. Plus a bit for the... Um, does this scrap to iron? It does. Plus a little bit more. So we need about 150 or so. Somewhere in there. 
So I'm pretty sure we can just get that from the material that's lying around here. You could definitely use the extra gra uh, gas too. So we'll scrap that, scrap these, another 37. Scrap this, and there's seven more. Getting close. Let's just, um, We haven't touched this one yet? Ooh, that's interesting. What do you got for me? Two books and the switch recipe. All right, and there's the mow power truck on too. That gives us plenty of iron and plenty of stuff. So I'm gonna hang on to the pipes. Might as well hang on to the springs. We picked up an engine and a battery, which is a bonus. So let's go back to the bike here. Uh, the one thing I was thinking about, I don't know if I brought repair kits, uh, which I kind of need. Put all the gas in there. Uh, I did not bring repair kits. So let's just throw this stuff in here first. You. We got no room for you. Okay, so. Uh, let's go home, grab the repair kits. It's 1645. Like I said, this is probably going to be the last episode I'm going to do for this series, unfortunately. Um, but I hope you understand. It's like. The lag is like, look, look at that, I can't do this. I can't do it. I don't mind a little bit of lag here or there. I'm fine with that, and I kind of accept it. I'm just having a real hard time with the amount of lag I'm getting here. So, um, oh hey buddy, you're still here, are you? Um, yeah, we'll just have to, you know, hopefully by the time Darkness Falls comes out, I'll have, a, have it figured out. And like I said, if I'm able to figure this out uh, before that, then, you know, I'll um, just grab those and that. The rest of the stuff, I think, is for the horde base. Oh, hey. Followed me home, did you? All that way for nothing. Thanks for showing up, though. Um, yeah, so, if, I mean, if things change, I'll probably come back to this series. I'm not going to delete it. Um, but if they don't change, then I'm just, I, there's no way I can come back to it. So, all right, we're going to throw that in there. Uh, I'm going to keep the iron on me because we're probably going to need it. That's for sale. What are these guys? AP robotic turret ammo. It's a good thing I didn't, um, fire rate by 10%. Sure. It's a good thing I didn't, um, buy that one in the store. That would have been bad. All right. Um, I don't think there's anything we need. We're not going to be repairing the electric fences during the night. It'll be what it is. And I think the pipe bombs and the, con the, the amount of concrete that's there is just, we're just gonna brutalize the zombies. Now, before I leave, let's make sure we make get those repair kits. 1,800 in coin, t or dollars too. Where are the repair kits? Do I not have any? I do, I got seven, take them all. We'll take them all. I think that's probably all we're gonna need. I'm sure I'm forgetting something and I'm probably staring at it right now going, hey, um, but we're not going to need anything else, I don't think. I don't think we're going to need forged iron for anything. Might as well take the remainder of the iron so I know I've got it all. We didn't leave anything in there. Nothing in there. We made the gunpowder already. So actually, let's just go ahead, because I was making this for 762. So we might as well make as much 7.62 as we can. So when we come back, if we come back, at least we'll have another stack of ammo waiting for us. All right, let's get back to the horde base. So I really hope that the horde comes from this direction tonight. I really do. Because um, then at least it won't be laggy. Anywhere but from the south. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and grab some of you. I think we're going to do a little work on the upper floor. Grab the hammer. Might as well grab the cobble. Um, yeah, we're going to grab the stuff for the horde a little later. So, for this base, what you would do is if you're going to build a stairwell up to the top here, um, you can start it on this side. Now, it needs to start behind where the little bunkers for these wire fences would be so it needs to start back over here then it would kind of walk up this way get up to my level work its way along here 
and then come in right here in the center. So we would do this. Now you could, I mean, you could leave one of these blocks barren. Now the only thing I don't know for sure is if I'm in the bottom here, I don't know if the zombies, like, I know the zombies want to get to your level. Now, I don't know if they'll decide to kind of go up the stairs and try and get to me up there. Uh, if they would actually go ahead and do that or not. Not 100% sure. Um, but it is possible that they might try to do that, so. Uh, now, we're going to go ahead and do, not that one. Might as well grab a few. Uh, what am I doing here? Come on. Shape. Uh, we want this guy. And then we want to go advanced. I'm gonna throw these in here for now. So that's a good way to stop them from stacking up right in front of you. Because it just pushes them away from you, right? If they stack up, it pushes them back and out. Do that all the way around. Yeah. And then blocks. So let's get back up to the top. Now we're going to pull these ladders up when we do this run. But that would be the front. Um, let's just quickly put one more layer of blocks around up here. If we come back to this and I need to pull these out, then so be it. But right now, we're just going to add a little bit of defense like oops so that we'll just have to live with that 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 yeah I would have had the perfect amount too see that figures that's frame do we have cobblestone shapes okay we'll get some XP by making these this there's the crickets did we bring my hammer I did all right we'll just hammer this in the cobble then we can do um, I think that's fine I don't think they're gonna get up here at all all right well I think we're ready so let's go downstairs grab our shiz and we'll wait for the horde to start and like I said I'll, let's hope it comes from the north uh, so I'm not gonna take any blocks to repair with because I don't think we're gonna need them and if I'm wrong, well, I die. And that's okay, too. We take all that. We need that. We need that. We need that, that, and that. What do we not need? We need I need the hammer to put the hatch in. We need the iron. We don't need that. Let's just go ahead and use one of these now. And one of these. Not going to need the money or the lock picks or the stone. The wood, maybe. We're going to leave the bow behind. Uh, I'm not going to need the axe. We might need the pickaxe. The shovel we won't need. The wrench we won't need. Mm. I think that's it. I think that's all. don't think we'll need much more than that. Like I said, we're going to go pipe bombs and, shot and shotguns. Um, or pipe bombs and shotgun tonight. So let's bring the pipe bombs down. Here. Here. Molotovs can go there. That's an emergency 9mm pistol. Another backup weapon. Um, how are we looking? We're going to put that hatch in. So let's get back inside. And pick up these guys. Like I said, it probably won't matter. But the thing is, is if they get blasted up with a pipe bomb and accidentally grab onto the ladder, it would be very unfortunate for us. Let's get the... <laughs> well, I mean, not really. The worst thing they could do is ruin the generator, right? Which I don't think they would ever do. Let's turn that on. It's going to use a lot of power, but we got lots of battery in there. No big deal. Now, let's get in here. Now, what I want to do... Because uh, these can get destroyed relatively easily. Can I actually make that jump? I can't. So we need to make sure we have... You out. You in. And we'll do shape ladder make sure it's set up that way so we can just throw the ladder in real quick if we have to get out of here all right pistol yeah uh, let's make sure we repair you shotgun which is already loaded ak already loaded i think we're good to go 
But you can see here, I mean, like if you're doing a lot of shooting, you might damage the ground a fair bit here. But like I said, this bottom base is not necessarily designed for, for guns. You can use it for guns if you want to, but the idea is to be utilizing the pipe bombs here the most, right? They get shocked, you drop pipe bombs in, it takes out a whole bunch of them at once. All right, so it's not too, too bad this way, but still a little laggy to the south. But the definitely the, the uh, north, east, and west will be fine. So, and once again, I said it would be nice to have this as a 5x5 five five internal. Um, just because then you can run a um, post up the center with a ladder on it already built in. You can make it like, you know, a steel ladder. That way you don't have to worry about cops destroying it or whatever. But that's one way of doing it. Um, this way, you're just kind of hoping that the zombies don't uh, destroy the ladder. Um, you know, they might, they might not. Who knows? All right, well, let's uh, just hold off here and uh, take on this horde. So I've been considering what I'm going to do for my um, Darkness Falls series when I play. Um, and my thought was, in order to make it challenging, um, the last time it was fun, don't get me wrong, I was, I was I had a, I had a blast. We were on, I think we started off on Warrior Difficulty, Zombies on Jog, I'm pretty sure. But I want to do... Um, once again, I'm going to run on Warrior Difficulty to start. But I think I want to have Zombies on Walk and Feral Sense turned on day and night. I think that's what I'm going to do for the Darkness Fall series to start. Then we're going to build our own base. We're not going to build out of the trailer like we did last time. We'll build our own base. Um, and it'll be probably end up being similar to this where it'll be a solid ground structure where we can actually fight the horde from using electric fences to start um, and then we'll migrate up to the top now my plan for that base is a little bit different I want to do a mur like a uh, murder walkway for the top so we'll start down here right and then you know we'll get as much work in down here as we can we'll blow up as many zombies as we can early game then we'll jump up to the top and get up to the walkway um, where the corridor is going to be very similar to how we had it with the last Darkness Fall series, where they kind of went up and away from us, and then over and then towards us up to the side of where our base was. But remember how they were walking by that big blockhouse? They didn't really do anything with that blockhouse. I'm planning on building a platform similar to the blockhouse, but I'm going to fill it with like dart traps and SMG turrets and stuff, so that as they're going along the walkway, they're just going to be punished severely by those turrets and I also want to max out my um, my robotic um, turret capability because I want to run two turrets one a sledge turret uh, by the door and then I want to run a second sl uh, um, regular uh, junk turret that fires ammo um, a little farther back because I want to put a rad remover in that and then I think you can put in in the junk turret or the junk sledge I think you can put in the um, the uh, one thing that removes the, the uh, de demonic regeneration so one will be anti-rad and then the second one will be anti-demon um, regen um, now the behemoths and things like that there's some pretty nasty um, zombies which is why I want that like in later game I want to have that murder walkway where they're just getting hammered by like just turrets the entire way and dart traps and taking a crap ton of damage before they can even get to me. Um, that way when they get to the door, hopefully they've been taken down by like 25% or something like that. Um, so it makes it easier to kill them at the door. Cause I know there's um, new behemoths that are like, you know, they don't have a lot of hit points, but they do a shit ton of block damage. They're just designed to destroy your base. So um, we're going to have to kill those guys fast. Hopefully the turrets can do that. And then there's the zombies or the behemoths that do a lot of damage to you but do less block damage but have a crap ton of hit points. So uh, those are the ones that are probably make it to the door that we can just rinse up real, real, really, really fast at the doorway. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the new Darkness Fall series. Kane has got a lot of new stuff added to the game, new zombies, new, new models for zombies. Um, new behemoth creatures, um, the, uh, <laughs> the one crazy, uh, creature that only spawns in the wasteland, like this massive demonic, like, octopoid spidery looking thing. It's just a nightmare. 
and it's actually relatively fast too. There's also another um, behemoth that you just can't outrun. The rad I think it's the radiator behemoth. It runs just as fast as you are faster. So, you know, if you encounter it, you have to have the firepower to pull it down, which is awesome. All right, here we go. And I bet they're gonna come from the north. Nope, here they come. So are they going for the corners? If they go for the corners, this base is a complete wash. No, I think they just came in from that side. They're trying to make it here. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, they're trying to make it here. Let that roll off the edge. So yeah, they're just coming from the... Yeah, they're not going for the corners. They're just coming from that direction. Ding. So, throwing pipe bombs when you got the uh, wire fences exposed like that, it's always not a good idea. Because, I mean, um, you're doing damage to your wire fences as well. Which is why you gotta kind of embed them in the ground a little bit. Hey, lady. Yeah, I don't like this shotgun. <laughs> Weapon of last resort. Hold that, will ya? Bing! So on Warrior difficulty, I mean... Hi, right, buddy. The zombies go down pretty quickly with a pipe bomb. I'm not sure. I think they can take two pipe bombs when they're in... Um, oh! When they're in um, insane difficulty. Yeah, this is like gonna be like easier than that last horde. Hold that, will ya? Come on, you guys. Let's go. They're still over there. That should bounce far enough, I think. Yeah, it sounds like it got him. I mean, this is going to be, this is like max to the last 64, right? This maxed out horde. Now, my game stage was only 39 when we started. And, boom, nope, missed. Game stage was only 39 when we started, so, I mean, it's not that, um, high. That's it for the horde. No, it's not. Oh, okay. So, it's interesting, they, they still go for the corners. Now the reason why I said in the last episode, you know, you gotta make the corners tougher is I made my old base, my old pipe bomb base, where I had inside the corners I had the wire fences, but they were um, um, hollow on the inside because the wires were inside the corners, so they went to the corners. And I think it's because the outer block was only one block thick, so it's only 5,000 hit points, um, which is why they went to the corner. Now that it's like... There's a tremendous amount. I was interested to see if they could actually crawl through that, but I don't think they can. Um, but now that um, these blocks are thicker in the corner, I don't think they're actually hitting the corners. Well, I'm interested to see if the uh, crawler or the uh, spider zombie can actually make it through there. So here comes a few now. Let's see what he does. I hear him. One of the reasons why you want to make sure the um, wire fences are at ground level because then it gets both the dogs and the uh, spider zombies. But he's just going to bang the wall. So he jumped up and did nothing. He can't get in there. You got a guy right here though. Yeah, hold that for me, buddy. Oop, that's stuck on the wall. Base level explosion though, yeah, one pipe bomb kills those guys. Yeah, I mean, when I originally created the idea of the pipe bomb base, it was designed for a double barrel shotgun and pipe bombs. So, even with a double barrel shotgun, like that's all you would need to hold the board down at this base, probably at least till day 28. And because I'm up half a block, 
right? And this block is like the third level high. They just, for some reason, when they stack, they can't quite fall, you know, between them. So I don't think you really, like, yeah, see, I don't think he's going to be able to get in there and crawl in there. Hold that, will you guys? We've got some more over here. So they're making a good showing tonight compared to the last Horde night. I don't like the idea, though, that they're, um... They're starting in the corners. So I can't see if... Oh, look at this. I can't see if they're actually hitting the walls in the corners or if they're just... Yeah, he can't make it through. But you can hold that, though, can't you? Thanks, thanks for that, guys. Yeah, dogs can't do it either. That should just roll off. It's just enough. Yeah, these guys take two pipe bombs. It's just enough that they can't get through. You know, the amount of ammo you save by just using the pipe bomb. So it's 12 gunpowder per pipe bomb. Which is basically three, four shotgun rounds. And you can easily kill more than four zombies. You know, and you don't have to worry really about missing. Oh, they're intensifying. Hold that, will ya? Like, that was what? Six zombies? Something like that? <laughs> Seven zombies? Another three more. Four more. So, yeah, I mean... I love this base. But you can see how in later stages, right? At 64 max alive, they are gonna burn through the... Um, they're gonna burn through these wire fences because you're not repairing them, right? Um, so, you'll want to make sure you have a place to go, which is like the upstairs, right? Then you're in a walkway base, you know? Oh, there's a spider monkey down here. So this is the 20th pipe bomb. Where's my other one? There you go. There's lots of angles here to drop them too, so... Ooh. That one right in the face. Ah! Damn it, I was hoping to get when he jumped up. Yeah, so they've done a bunch of block damage there. There we go. Do I have a hammer on me? I do, don't I? I do. Okay, we're gonna check the block damage here. So I guess what you would have to worry about probably, like if you're repairing this base, you know, don't even worry about it. it the, 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 the point of time when you, like, yeah, so they, they took that block down to half. But if you were repairing, I mean, no big deal, right? And now the rest of the damage out here is from pipe bombs, so like it damages everything, right? But only a minor amount. Yeah, I mean, It's, yeah, it is what it is. Like, I mean, they're not going to, they're not going to get to you, especially on day 14. Day 21, day 21, if I was working on the base, I would definitely have all four corners up and running with two sets of wired fences already, and then they would be encased in bunkers. So that part would be done. Um, and I might have started digging the, um, in front of these places here to uh, like the uh, asphalt up from in front here to lay in concrete blocks to add to the reinforcement just in front of these parts and I would definitely have the upstairs done you know this part would already be done up here too right so we would be fighting the horde here locked down be behind three hatches you know realistically they could be um, they could be steel hatches like it's not that hard to get steel. I could have bought some off the trader. Or I could have just wrenched it, right? Even if I can't make it, I can get the steel to make the steel hatches. No big deal, right? But, you know, there it is. Like, no real threat of being killed at all. So let's get down below. Let's grab our ladders down. Let me go check out the loot. Then I'm going to end this episode and, you know, 
possibly I'm gonna say possibly this series I don't know if it will if it will indeed be the last episode uh, but for now it's gonna be considered the last episode I have no idea um, if I can get this to work any better if I can um, without the lag I'll definitely come back and revisit it uh, but until that happens um, it's just going to be a holdout for Darkness Falls. Um, and I'm happy to play Darkness Falls with a bit of lag. Um, but once again, we'll have to see how that goes, because it might be ridiculous too, right? I don't know. And the loot was... Yeah, I mean, mediocre. Got a bit of lead. Some food, which we needed. You know, I could go ahead and scrap that. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. But I'm going to end this episode here, guys, and this probably the series here. I hope you enjoyed it. That's the, um, you know what? Maybe I'll do one more episode. Maybe I'll turn off this zombie spawns and I'll finish this base up just to show you what it would look like. Or maybe I'll do it. No, I won't do it in this in here. I'll do it in a standalone just to show you what the final would look like to give you an idea because it really is. I really, I'm really enjoying this. Like, um, I added plates on the front of these two for the other base. Like, um, when I was doing it, just angled plates so that they would get here and they would kind of walk up a little bit. Um, so we're shooting them in the groin. That just stops um, things like cops when they get here from being able to see you and spit at you because they're kind of running up a bit and then they can't see you. So they'll stop vomiting at you. But I mean, for what it is, you know, this thing is actually, it can be pretty devastating. Like to an early horde, but, I mean, you saw it there. They didn't really have any chance of making it to me. Especially if I wanted to repair. They would just never have had any kind of chance. I probably could have gone with the shotgun the whole night. Um, but that's not what this is designed for. It's designed for the pipe bombs, right? So, it really, what? 21 pipe bombs was the horde. 21 pipe bombs and a handful. So, these are the, these are the where the fences start from. So, how much the fence is taking damage? That's got nothing on it. 49. So that one was almost done. And then this side, 58. Yeah, so that size horde pretty much just about used up all the wires. But that's why you have two layers of them. And yeah, you can't re you can't repair them during the night with this type of base. Um, but that's not what it's for, right? Like it's just to, to start the night off to thin out the horde. And then you go upstairs and just deal with them upstairs. Um, and the upstairs base actually has wire fences as well but the upstairs base has the cap the uh, capability to repair those wire fences like if I go up here real quick so basically this sticks out a little bit more it goes out one more block and I'll, and I'll review this it goes out one more block um, and then these two here are two channels that run out and then two wire fences are like left and right here that run across at foot level um, one runs across here and then the next block out, right? Because this is where your hatch is going to be. You're going to be pretty much standing right here, which means you have a, a good melee attack to whatever zombie's head's here. But, I mean, it just sticks out. The wires go across there at foot level on both sides. Um, and there's two of them. And then, you know, if you're if you're having an issue, you just kind of back up. You can just quickly repair them from right here. And the same on this side. And then you're back into the fight again. Um, you could run with just that base, too. If you didn't want to use the pipe bomb base below... Like, let's say for whatever reason you are having problems getting gunpowder or you forgot to make molotovs or or um, pipe bombs or whatever, then you just stay up here and just you can melee or, or do, um, um, you know, shotgun. Because they'll be lined straight up here. You just put a round in their head, right? Now, this is kind of like a slightly modified version of, like, Jeroodle's bases where he does, you know, he's got the killing corridor and a variety of, like, upper ramp bases. There's all different kinds of them that you can make. Um, I like the idea of having the ramp that goes off the side and the zombies come up for where, from where they can't see you. So they'll come up, start to walk across. There'll be a junk turret here knocking them off, forcing them to go around again. Basically, it just thins them out. And then by the time they get to the door, they should be in a relatively thinned out state. There shouldn't be, like at max 64 alive, you'd, last thing you want is about 20 zombies standing in front of you. Um, I mean, you can, and you can use shotgun on them, and it works great, but... If you can thin them out so that you're, you know, you get six or eight of them here, so you're just basically doing headshots, wiping them out while they stand there doing the little dance because electric fences. Um, 
you know all the better but anyway i'm gonna end this here guys like i said hopefully uh we can come back to this series but like as of right now i, I can't deal with this lag so um hopefully in the future they've either solved that issue or you know i have some way of dealing with it but until then, I'm going to leave the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.